A lot of testing has been going on here on the channel with the DJI Mini 2 together with the Rainbow and Litchi app. That combination has been made possible by DJI by releasing the SDK. I got a request from one of you to show Orbit and Pano mode when using the Litchi app. I actually filmed that bit when I was covering the Litchi app and demoing the active track Follow Me and the Waypoint mode. But I ended up taking that part out of the video as I didn't want to extend the video further than necessary. So in this video, I will actually show you what the Orbit function looks like. Before we look into the Orbit mode, I want to highlight that in the end of the video, I've tried a new concept where I'm answering your questions from previous videos. If you're curious if one of your questions got picked, then make sure to watch the video to the end. And as always, if you're not already a subscriber, then please consider if you find any value in the videos that I'm making. We can do a uh, orbit mode. So the orbit mode, I guess, needs to be set up here on the map. So I need to put in, do wish to put a point. So you can orbit around that. Keep your finger on top of it, and then you can drag it to the location where you want. So let's just see that we want to make it do that. Radius, altitude 30 meters, radius 191 meters. That was maybe a little bit too much. So let's just see what it's doing. So now it goes out. It moves the camera towards the center. And then it will start to rotate. This is where we need to be careful that we don't crash into something. So it's not super fast. <laughs> so let's just stop it here. Let's just stop it and adjust it so we get it a little bit more as I say speed. So it completes it in 25 seconds like that and then yeah so now it's doing it so now it rotates and you can see i just smacked up the speed so You can argue that <laughs> this was maybe not the most interesting stuff that I could film, but at least it shows you that you would get a nice uh, orbit mode. But I guess you have that as well with the DJI Fly app, so that's not the real asset here. Let's just stop that. So let's answer some questions from uh, the last video uh, covering the Litchi app together with the DJI Mini 2. Which one of the two apps is better, the Rainbow app or the Litchi app? That's a hard choice because uh, they offer different uh, functionality. You can only do hyperlapse uh, with the, the Rainbow app. And it seems the active track part is better with Litchi. To be completely transparent, I do not have that much long-term experience with the Rainbow app, but I've been using the Litchi app quite for a while together with the Mavic Mini. And so far I have had little problems with that app and it's frequently being updated. To gain access to the SDK, you would have to install an update provided by DJI for your remote. And yes, it seems some of you have problems with the newer phones, the newer Android phones and the Litchi app. And I highly encourage you to write directly to Litchi support and notify them about this issue because I'm pretty sure they will get around fixing it because they can't have a sustainable business not supporting the newest phones on the market. Many of you have been hesitant to buy the beta app and that's understandable because it is beta so bugs can occur. So I've been in direct contact with the Litchi and they informed me that they are aiming for a public release within this month. But as you might know, deadlines for software, they might shift a bit around. But I guess it's not that far out. Also, if you're super interested in knowing more about these third-party apps and following along while I'm testing them, I make sure to include a playlist that will cover all the videos, uh, both the current and the future ones, and you can access this playlist through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you around.